Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2020 video tutorial. I want to do the drawing of the connecting rod. Of course, there's no break view command here, so I did it without that shortened view. But let's have fun with AutoCAD. So in order to get that drawing, you have to switch to the layout and go for the layout register and there will, you will find the same or almost the same icons as in Inventor. So I will go for a base view and the base view could come from the model space or from Inventor. So I will go for the model space and scale is too small. So let's go for 0 0.25 and see Yeah, that would be okay because I went for a DNA3 format. Yeah, so I don't want this. I need a different orientation. I think that would be the top view. Yeah, that's more like it. Just put it there and exit. And you could also make the second one. So like this and enter. Now for the dimensions, very straightforward. Go to annotate and go for that dimension command. And then you could do all the dimensions. But first I want to add some center marks. So go for center mark, select arc arc this arc that arc this arc over there okay and I want to add uh, this one as well so maybe shorten this one for the moment and I could put all of these right click select similar onto a different layer maybe onto my sketches layer which is just hidden so just activate it and put it right there okay now for the dimensions I will switch to a different layer maybe to layer 0 in this case but that's hidden so let's go for that's a little plus dimension. Let's start with the radius and the diameter. So let's go here. And that's kind of astonishing because it depends on where you go, you will get the 10 millimeter radius and you don't have to see to override it. So that should be a different layer, it should this one be. And put this one onto the same layer. Okay. Now that one should be that 165. Yes. This one, you could go for diameter. I want to have a diameter. 70, yeah. Same over here. Let's move down and this could be a diameter, of course. That could be a diameter. This should be a diameter. That one over here. Now let's switch back to radius, not here, but go there, go for radius, and maybe move that 
up here as well. Same key. Oh, yeah, really? Radius. Okay. That should be another radius. This should be another radius. Okay. Yeah, you can go for radius as well. And that should be 40, yes, and that should be 65, yeah. And I think I got all those, yeah. Let's go for linear because that's easier to do from that center here to this line, 55. And I need to see the tangent edges so I want to edit that view so select it edit view and change it to visible and hidden lines yes but I need those tangent edges that would be over here tangent edges and confirm and then I could do the distance from that center here to this edge which would be that 135 I also need that quadrant quadrant so I will repeat the command from the center to so go for right click quadrant that would be the 61 great now from that center, repeat the command from that center here to this center over there, that would be 750, yes. Then the same here from, repeat the command from the center to that edge, 105. Repeat the command from the center to this point right here. So that would be, of course, a quadrant. So go for the quadrant. Another 105. Then I need a distance from this center to that center here. So go for center. Get that the 60. Then from this center to that one like this then from this point to that point from that hidden line here to that hidden line there repeat from this I use that one to this one same on the other side. Okay, repeat. That's 110. Great. I will need a center line here between those two. And let's see if we go from this one to that one. It's 45, but I need to edit this. Go to the properties, go to text, override, and that would be percentage, percent, sorry, percentage, percentage C for the diameter sign and 45 for the measurement and then move it up there so that should do here let's move down and add some more i will go for linear because that's easier to do so from this one to that one here that should be 30 yes repeat the command go from 
that one to this one. 60, yeah. And then go for that radius here. And I need more linear dimensions. So from this center to that center here to that center, that's 56. Then I could also go with this one, go for center here to center there or just do the difference that would be from the center here right click to that center that would be the nine yes then go for another center here to that line and that would be the 36 or you just could, of course, dimension it from this point, right click center to that center here. That would be 20. Let's move over here. And I go for linear here, here, 30. Repeat the command from this point to that point at 60. Go for this command, make that radius, then go for center to right click center here. That would be 9, then from right click. center to that line that would be the 36 I don't need this one I need it from the center here center to that center and that 20 is from this line here to the center of that circle, that would be the 20. And then let's go from center over here to the center over there. And just draw it down and put it there and I should be done so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook and fan page would be very nice of you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye